afternoon. We are at 670 Riola Place in Pensacola, Florida. Getting ready to take you inside this home. It was built in about 1961. You can see it's got a circular drive that comes in. We are right off of, um, right at the corner almost of Lillian Highway and Dog Track Road. We're on the water. Uh, this is almost three quarters of an acre and it is waterfront. So let's go inside and take a look. Uh, the home is listed at 275,000. It is a three bedroom, two bath. So we'll go inside and take a look. You can see this covered porch as you come up. It's an all brick home. It's a ranch style home, of course, built in the 60s. You can see immediately when we come in, we have carpet on the floors. We have this stone fireplace. This is a wood burning fireplace. This is our formal living room when we first come in. I'm going to take you this way first. This takes us right into like a formal dining room area here. So this is our formal dining room. Ceiling fan. This goes into our kitchen. So if we go into our kitchen, we have a breakfast nook here. So not only a formal dining room, but a breakfast nook. We have tile flooring. We have gas cooking. We have gas water heater. We have electric HVAC unit for cooling and heating. You can see multiple ceiling fans. You can see this breakfast bar. We have a dishwasher. We're still in the process of trying to find out if this home is on septic or sewer. I believe that it's on septic. I'm waiting on ACUA to call me back with some more information about that. This is a sunroom. Now this sunroom is not heated and cooled. It's got a lot of stuff in it. I'm just gonna kind of show you around. The sunroom, it's got two doors that exit out to the yard. It does have carpet on the floor. We do have another access door that goes outside. That's our utility room inside, which is quite large. It's got the HVAC unit in it. It's got the water heater in it, which is gas, the washer and dryers in that room as well. Kind of pans you right back through the house. So if we come back in, there's a couple of little step ups here. And if you come in this area here, you're gonna step down again and this goes into the master bath. So this little section is kind of separate and apart. So if we come in, you can see there's tile flooring, a laminate countertop. We still have some wallpaper and we have a tub shower combination with the older tile in it. So this is our mat, considered our master bath. This is our master bedroom. Uh, this has got paneled walls and you can see we have a wood, you know, tongue and groove wood ceiling in here. It's a large master. It's got a lot of room in it. You can see uh, we've got a couple of closets in the master. Home is good and solid bones. It's just dated, but it, for somebody that wants to be on the water, this is just a perfect location. You're just minutes to Purito Bay. And again, that's our formal dining room. Let's go back through the living room. I apologize, it's kind of bright outside and we don't have a lot of lighting in here. So if we go into the one of the front additional bedrooms, this is one of the additional bedrooms with closet. Pretty ample space, a good space for the closets. This is our full bathroom. And again, you can still see that this has not been updated from the 60s. We have a single vanity in here in this full bathroom. That's a little space heater for those of you that don't know what that is. This is one of our other additional bedrooms. So again, we have three bedrooms, two full bathrooms, comes right back out into the formal. I want to take y'all outside now so that you can see this water view. You can see these little glass doors that kind of close off this dining area. The value really in this home is the waterfront. Uh, like I said, almost three quarters of an acre. We've got water frontage. So if we go out this area here, and I do want to show you this. This big building is part of this property. You come in through these double gates. That is part of that. And then you can see that detached two car block garage. You can see the water right down there. As you can see, we have some cedar siding on this. We have brick there. If you walk down, we're gonna walk down to the water. This is that detached garage. You can see that there's a boat slip here. Finally, we get out of the sun some. 
Uh, you can see that little strip that goes up behind that chain link fence. That is part of this property. And you can see we do have a boat slip here that goes right out. And this waterway takes you right out to Perdido Bay. So for you boat lovers, people that want to be on the water, this is the perfect spot. You can see here as well, there's like an old boat launch where you could actually put your boats in. Not sure how deep that water is. I know this is a deep channel, but you can see that you could put your own boat ram and you can see right up that waterway. You see that boat up there with the burgundy top? I actually sold that lot. So we've got this nice big waterway channel that goes out to Perdido Bay. Penny right back around and you can see that house from here. We have a nice size backyard and a carport. So just a beautiful view. It's a gorgeous day here in Pensacola today. The temperatures are down a little bit. We're in the low 80s, which is pretty awesome for us. I know it's Florida and we like the warm weather, but it's starting to cool off a little bit and it feels really nice. So you can see that's a single carport on the back of the home. And again, that outbuilding up front, which is absolutely a tear down. And then we've got this two car block garage. Roof on that looks pretty good. There's a hip roof on that. That's ranch style up there. I did check one of the plugs and it did show me that there was copper wiring. Now, is the whole house copper wiring? Not sure about that. The homeowners, again, this is in a trust. Homeowners are not aware of that. But the one plug that I did check did have copper wiring. So that is a great thing here. Penny right back down at this water view again. Again, we are at 670 Riola Place, Pensacola, Florida. This property is listed at 275,000. We have about 1816 heated and cool square footage, a total of 2043 with that sunroom that is not heated and cooled. So thank you so much for watching this video and y'all have a great day.